We're going to talk about the water valve. Uh, we commonly call it the 421 valve. We want to talk about some of the problems that we, common problems we have, and some ideas on helping you troubleshoot. 421 valve is the main water valve that shuts the water on and off. Uh, this is a one inch valve. We also do have a 424 valve, which is a bigger inch and a half series valve. This valve is pi air piloted, so it, it gets an air signal from an electric solenoid that is mounted in the control box. Um, the way this valve works is the air opens and closes the, the valve. It doesn't really close it, the water flow closes it, but uh, uh, we open it by air. This valve is mounted in the system backwards. And, and, and I want to explain why. And the backwards being there's a flow arrow on the base of the valve. This flow arrow is pointing towards the water flow, towards the water pump, towards the tanks, however you want to look at it. And the reason for that is the water helps close the valve quickly and it holds the valve closed. If you put this valve in backwards, and this is one of the problems we'll have, is people will call and say, why, why water don't shut off? I put a new valve on and it still don't shut off. And 99% of the time, we tell the people to turn it around and put it in the other way. Problem solved, taken care of. Because this spring that's in this valve will not close this. It won't, there's too much pressure against that, 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 that plunger in there. Another problem is, is we'll get water squirting out of the control box where the exhaust port is on the valves. And the reason that is squirting out inside the housing is an O-ring that goes around the plunger. And that O-ring has gotten damaged, wore out, or whatever, but it's letting water pass and it's exhausting through the airline. So it's spitting it out in the control box uh, exhaust port. We have a group of solenoids right here. We got a water, admix, and admix. So this is a fairly common system. There's a red light on the, the electric plug. And if I flip this switch on, you can see that the light is on. That tells us we have good electric uh, continuity into the switch and the uh, solenoid. You can also hear it turning on and off. So that tells us the switch is, should be working correctly. We can also hear the air exhausting and that tells us that the valve is opening and closing. It's exhausting the air like it's supposed to. The solenoid does have an override, that little yellow lever there. If it's turned 90 degrees, that is a manual override. So this helps us troubleshoot, is it an electric problem or is it a, an air situation, an air problem? As far as air pressure goes, we want somewhere between 80 and 100 PSI on the air system. And that's, that's on your main air panel. Anything lower than that, these valves don't work correctly and the 421 don't work correctly. So got to have 80 to 100 PSI of pressure. This being the air pressure coming in, this being the exhaust for the air. Um, I mentioned that there is an override. Let's see if we have air pressure. Yeah. Okay, so I had air pressure there. When I turn this on, I have air here. I can also test it in the auto mode. There's an on switch and an off and an auto. So when it goes in auto, this little roller switch by the conveyor handle is what's turning it on. So you can test it that way also to make sure the auto circuit's in good condition. So we can troubleshoot this number of ways to determine is it, is it an electric problem, is it an air problem, or is it a valve problem? If I have 100 PSI of air, I have a good air signal down at the valve. I still can't get the valve to work. I either got to pull that valve off and rebuild it or pull it off and replace it and then rebuild the spare valve on a rainy day that you can't pour concrete. We'll get calls, this valve won't shut off. The 421 stays open, but the air's bled off. Or, or it doesn't shut off immediately. It's real slow to shut off. What's happening, if you hear this, you'll hear that little burst of air right there. That is the exhaust of that air system. So the air is coming out of this exhaust port right here. Well, what will happen over time, 
you'll get some little bug. They'll come in the backside outside of the box and they'll build a nest in there. And as that nest plugs that hole, the exhaust starts bleeding out slower and slower and slower. They get to the point they're actually plugged clear up and it will not exhaust. So, so a lot of times when we have a, a customer call and they said the valve doesn't shut off or it takes five to 10 seconds for it to close, more than likely that exhaust port is plugged and you need to take a wire or something and clean that exhaust tube out, burst your air a couple times to blow the debris out of it and, and that will clean that out for you.